my ideas. You said my feet. Good morning guys. I hope you all slept well. So I'm in the kitchen about to make breakfast for my Nigerian family of six living in Europe, Italy. Alright, so I want to carry you guys along with me. Today we are making um, beans, sweet potato and custard. Yeah, so join me let's do this but first of all i'm going to drink my concoction here i have carrots cucumber ginger and lemon yes that's all i have here i blended it last night we had some like by we i mean the whole family every single one of us we had some and this is the leftover i'm taking it or i'm having it all alone because it's not that much all right, let's begin. And set me upon my high place. And set me upon my high place. Bless him. He makes my feet like his feet. He makes my feet like his feet. Let me see that. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> So here are the sweet potatoes that I'll be using. I don't think I'll be using all of them, but let's see. wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are falling under my feet. Alright guys, so here are the sweet potatoes. I'm scraping the back off after washing them first because as you guys saw earlier, the skin was looking so dirty. So I had to wash them first before I started scraping and after scraping, I sliced into bite sizes and yeah, the next thing is to fry them up.
all right so here i was done with the potatoes here are the leftover and these are the ones i'm going to be frying so i'm going to quickly clean up the sink and then we'll start frying and by the way my beans is over there per boiling you guys saw when i added the beans yes i'm making this with honey beans yeah it's brown beans but they also call it honey beans because it is usually very sweet like i will advise whenever you want to make beans porridge like the one i'm making today always go for the brown beans it is so delicious like even without adding a lot of ingredients it's still going to be so delicious instead of using the white one i feel like the white one which is the black eye beans is used for making moi moi akara and other um stuff like that but as for porridge beans you got to go with this honey one the brown one that they were not able to rise they are falling under my feet i have wounded them so you guys can see my kids reading their bible while i'm in the kitchen cooking and my hubby came back from night shift so he was sleeping when i was doing this and he had no clue what was going on in the kitchen although he had requested for these beans and fried potatoes some days back and i'm like okay we are going to do it one day <laughs> i don't like beans so whenever he mentions beans i usually kind of you know feel like i don't care but i know he loves beans so much even my kids none of them like beans when at the mention of beans they will all squeeze their faces i don't like beans but i had to make these beans on this day on this beautiful saturday morning just to make my husband happy you know <laughs> a happy man is a happy wife as well not only happy happy wife is a happy home so yeah that's what is going on guys it's finally time to fry the sweet potatoes and already you can see i've drained out the beans the water in the beans and poured cold water over it it's not necessary though the cold water is not necessary just rinse the beans and get it ready for cooking so i boiled some water um it's over there in the pot once the water starts boiling i'm going to add the beans and allow it to cook until it's tender so um meanwhile here are the potatoes these are called sweet potatoes in case you didn't get that let me be specific these are sweet potatoes not irish potatoes you guys saw the the shape when i started peeling the skin off so yeah make sure to use sweet potatoes because they are the best for this recipe don't use irish potatoes okay you're not going to enjoy it <laughs> so i've just added the beans i'm going to allow it to cook and while i go over here to um, remove the potatoes from the oil because they are well fried at this point and let me remind you in case you have forgotten please kindly click that like button if you are enjoying this video okay guys because making uh, making delicious meal for your family and filming it at the same time is not easy so please click that like button for me okay thank you guys so i've added the second batch i fried in two batches so the second and the last batch has just gone inside the oil while i'm also washing some of the dishes i'm using to you know cook this food see guys i like a clean kitchen i always say this in most of my cooking videos or some of my cooking videos rather i do say this that it's always good to cook and clean at the same time that way when you are done cooking you will not be left with so many place to wash it can be so tiring so as you are cooking it's good to wash and clean at the same time so you can have a clean space and plus my kitchen is a very small one the counter the kitchen counter is too small for me so i need to create space as i'm cooking so i can see where i'm placing stuff 
you know. But if I'm littering the plates around the pot, the items I'm using to cook, I'm not going to have enough space to keep other items. So I'm done frying the sweet potatoes and I wanted to pour the hot oil in that plate. My mind was like, wait, so what are you trying to do? Do you want to break that plate? I don't know if it was going to break though, but I felt like if I pour that really hot oil in that white plate, it was going to break into pieces. So what I did was to... Okay, so at first I wanted to leave the oil to cool down a bit before I pour it out. And I'm like, what time do I have to wait for the oil to cool down? So I had to bring a stainless cup to transfer the hot oil. Yeah, so please be careful. Always be careful in the kitchen. Now, while the palm oil is heating up in the frying pan, I'm going to go ahead and blend some sherry tomatoes, a scotch bonnet pepper, one white onion and some crayfish. Yes, I'm using sherry tomatoes just because I ran out of the normal fresh tomatoes. So this one did the job very well for me. Yes, always make use of what you have. You don't have to break the bank to make or cook a delicious meal for yourself or for your family so i've added the blended stuff i'm going to go in with some seasoning cubes and in this case i'm using a magista yes that's the one i'm using when i'm cooking some meal or food i like to go with either the magista or the no cubes yeah so for this one it needed the magista so i've added the magista and i've added some salt as well i'm going to fry this till it's really fried like very fried i don't want the raw taste of the onions and the tomatoes so once it was done frying i transferred into the pot of beans mixed cover the pot and allow it to continue cooking you guys can see i added a lot of water into that beans because i wanted it a bit runny when i'm done cooking not like watery but <sighs> i don't know how to explain it it's going to be very moist very juicy very delicious and demure <laughs> guys since i heard that word demure eh Hmm. it has not left my mouth so i'm sorry if i keep saying it in my videos uh -huh. so after adding that fried stuff in the beans i mixed covered the pot and started boiling water for my custard so we are going to be enjoying this with custard now if you have pap or ghee i beg you use them because we are staying abroad we don't easily get that uh, our normal corn pap we decided to go with this birds custard and trust me we have been using birds for many years like ever since i joined my husband in 2014 yes we've been using birds and it has never disappointed us unless you don't know how to make it uh, but if you know how to make it it doesn't disappoint it tastes good it's okay in my own opinion yeah making this thing this is where you you will be singing holy spirit uh, uh, come for me how do they used to say it holy spirit take control holy spirit take control as you're making it you'll be praying in your mind may your mother-in-law no go pursue you for your husband house <laughs> so yeah this is the consistency we like we, we we don't like it too thick and not too runny either just this consistency then i added some sugar i'm going in with some milk this time around i'm not using pig milk for those of you that know me you guys know that i love pig milk but when we tried this one we discovered that it was so good so creamy so delicious okay guys that's it for this video please kindly come back for the eating part because there's no way we are going to uh, cook this meal and not eat it together with you guys so come back for the part two